music mogul L.A. Reid is being sued by former music executive Drew Dixon. Now, she claims L.A. sexually assaulted her twice about 20 years ago. L.A. Reid filed court documents asking his accuser to turn over evidence from another case where she alleges that Russell Simmons also sexually assaulted her. Now, 2024 is the gift that keeps on giving. Seems to be the year of the truth. What are your thoughts on these allegations? Alice, go to you first. Well, you know, Claudia, the one thing we never want to do is say that the victim is lying. But I have to be honest with you. I, I, I've known these two gentlemen for over 20 years. I've vacationed with them. I've been in their homes. And honestly, I just don't see any of this coming from them. So I, for me, I, 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 this is what I wish. I wish people like her, and I feel like maybe that in 2024, we need to create an environment where women or men, when they have been sexually assaulted or victimized in any way, we've got to create an environment where they feel comfortable coming forward at that time, right? And the reason why I say that is because if she's right, this has been 30 years, 30 years that other victims could have experienced the same thing. And had she spoken up sooner, we would have been able to minimize some of the other victims in the situation. That's the only thing I can really say in this space. But for me, I, I, I've hung around with these guys. That, you know, I, I just don't see the two of them, you know, just sexually assaulting someone just because they have power and influence. Have you been anyone <laughs> like they're very cool to men and then they're a different person with their victims. And uh, I, mm -hmm. that's something that's like uh, any woman that's been abused by a man and to hear people say, oh, but he's such a cool guy. Yeah, because he has you're no threat. You know what I mean? Like you're not his prey. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I hear what you're saying, because it's like I've been around girls that probably they while out with their boyfriends and I don't see that side because I'm not dating them, you know. Right. 18 women have also accused Russell of sexual assault, and then he moved to Bali. We know that. And people speculate it's because they have no extradition. So individuals of that crime, come on, prompt them. Individuals accused of crimes do not have to return to their country. Mm. There's a lot of this, you know, swirling around this, uh, around him. And I'm, I've definitely been around Russell as well. He was cool to me. But I was never, you know, I don't know. Right. Uh, Armand, what do you think about this? I, and I would say a tricky thing, right? So. Yeah, it's, it's one of those tricky things when it comes to sexual assault. I never really like to go in too much. I just feel like people need to uh, speak out as soon as they can, as soon as it happens. Um, but one thing I will say that I thought was interesting, like, if I'm Russell Simmons, I'm like, well, how can I get in it? Like, why are you adding, why do you want to expose me right now? You know, I thought we were kind of laying low. You didn't threw me in the lake of fire now, L.A. Reed. I mean, shit. You know, so, uh, yeah, I hope they get this all figured out. Sexual assault stuff, that's not really my ministry because people get, re it's really, really touchy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I stay out of it. I stay clear from that stuff. M Mr. Burns, we have some comments. Let's go to the comments in the chat. Uh, let's see. Mr. Burns said, who cares if you know them? They could still be abusers. Key Webb says, Russell has groomed Kimora since she was 15. Ansel D'Angelo said, twice? This sounds a bit fishy. And if L.A. Uh, is immediately asking for evidence, it seems like he may be in the right. Tayamo said, she has spoken up. No one listened to her. They blackballed her and forced her out of the industry. And Scorp1121 said, it's not any victim's responsibility to stop abusers. It's the abuser's fault. Mm. Yeah, but at some point, like, do, this is why it gets tricky, because I'm like, we need some evidence. Like, we just start believing right. everything anybody says. Like, at any point, anybody can throw an allegation on you or I, and it's just like, because we are we have a public platform or we may have, you know, money or whatever you have, then you're just supposed to be believe like, you believe a person, you know what I mean? Just right. because... They have less than, or they're not the famous one, or whatever the case. That's why, for me, I need some proof of something. Right. Uh, we had a comment that said, y'all believe Cassie? Nothing? Well, I mean, Cassidy came with all to all the receipts. Mm -hmm. She came with she, a video, audio, text messages, voicemails, girlfriends. She came with a slew of receipts. So it's a totally different it's different in that case. You know, she she was there for years and she kept all that information and handed it all over to her lawyers who handed it all over to the attorneys. Like like she had tons and tons of receipts. And she was ready to go. She was ready to go to court with it. Like, and then mm -hmm. mind you, she has said nothing else after everything got done. Like, you could tell, like, she needed, she wanted what she got. 
and she got out like she it was it was give me what I got and and the work is done like she did what she needed to do I, I believe Cassie I do believe Cassie but I feel like <laughs> the way that she presented it it was enough there for me to be like okay yes this right. is accurate you do understand that not everyone's going to have evidence, right? Like that as good as, and as efficient, like, you know, as thorough as Cassie. And it doesn't mean that it's not true, you know? Yes, it does mean that it's not true, but it also doesn't mean that it happened just because you said it happened. Oh. I'd rather err on the car on the side of, of caution and uh, not, it's... But, but, get... but you were on Lizzo's side. What do you mean? The oh. other day, but you were team Lizzo. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I really wasn't on her side. I was actually playing devil's advocate because we've talked about Lizzo before. Al, relax. I was not on Lizzo's side. Why are you telling me to relax? I'm just you chuckling. You so when you have a partner to come from. No, you no, no don't do case. that. Don't do we, that. I'm don't doing do it. That. I'm doing it. You geeked um, when you have your partners here too. <laughs> uh, you have one for three years. LQ said, Al, hush, you sound crazy. You're blaming the victim. Russell I clearly said I'm not blaming the victim. I'm clearly uh, said that at the top of the, of the conversation. LQ, let, let me finish what LQ said. She said, Russell has assaulted a lot of victims. And Emerge said, it's called people in power can basically do what they want until karma hits. Hey, I guess it's something we'll never know. You know, if you've been a mm. victim, you're going to be more on the side of the victim. If you've not, then you're going to be may maybe more critical thinking about it, I guess. All but right. why? my thing is, why is it so like, when it comes to men, we believe it right away. But when it's a woman, we kind of like, you know, here, go present at the Grammys and let's okay right i mean you know we talk about the double standards on the show all the time it's one of those things in our society and hey you're mm -hmm. right sometimes that is the case and i'll, I'll give you that you know what i mean it is a lot harder because we don't expect it as much from women so mm. it is harder to it, it is we it's harder for us and we're now getting into 2024 where we are hearing some cases of it and up until recently we really didn't hear a lot of that so i'm listen i'm for it i'm for women that are guilty of course and i also if i've you heard me on the show before I am behind legislation that would penalize people that are found guilty of lying on these types of things. Because <laughs> you can really. <laughs> oh.